Um, well, when, when I started working with John, I was really interested uh, by the answers that we got, how a lot of people were expressing that they wanted in their utopia there to be more nature or to everything return to this very traditional concept of Eden. And so that made me think, is there a certain irony between what people want and what they're actually choosing to have in their lives? So for me at the moment, I'm quite sacred upon people's obsession with technology. So a lot of people, I find it very ironic that a lot of people were saying, you know, I prefer if there wasn't any technology and if this world is a beautiful green world all over again. And most of the thing, hang on a minute, there is a Like you have said, it's your utopia. So hopefully, I'll be doing a bit work like what John's done. I'll be interviewing people in the Home Square, asking them what they want aesthetics wise in their perfect world, so what they really want it to look like. And then we'll see if there is that, that same recurrent theme he's found. And then ideally, I'd like to sort of frame all these answers I get in some, in a way that. I believe people communicate most these days, which is through social media, through text messages, emails, Facebook messages, and hopefully I get the sort of ironic depiction of how we all want something that's not technology, but we're expressing it through the technology. We'll see how it goes. It could all fail miserably. <laughs>